Yeah, particularly here at the CBUS terminal, 14 sailings have been canceled today. That's seven round trips. The main reason the CBUS has come to rely on engineers working long hours, and as part of the strike, those workers aren't putting in any overtime. We heard that today, Orc, and we're a bit worried that it might be slower, but since they just increased it to every 10 minutes recently, every 15 minutes is what we're used to before, so we're hoping it won't be too disruptive. Um, I might have to dust off the old car, and the uh, certainly, you know, with a lot of carbon interest right now and, and attention on that, this doesn't help things. The strategy was employed by the union to put pressure on the Coast Mountain Bus Company as negotiations broke down yesterday. The big sticking points, wage increases and guaranteed minimum breaks. We're fighting for our rights. Uh, we're asking for better working conditions. Today, workers also didn't wear uniforms on the job. Red t-shirts were handed out in a sign of solidarity. It's day one, and we know it's an uphill battle. We're very, we're telling members, stay strong, be positive, keep doing what you train for, customer service. In a statement, bus company president Mike McDaniel said the union's demands would cost more than $600 million, money that is earmarked for transit expansion and improvements. He urged the union to come back to the bargaining table, but workers say they're in it for the long haul. Some experts say a prolonged strike could impact industries across the region and that the impact of a strike in 2001 will pale in comparison to what we might see this time around. That's largely because ridership is much higher. We find things that one in three hospitality workers take transit to work, but then mixed into that type of conversation is the fact that one in four tech workers take transit to work and one in five healthcare workers take transit to work. So you can see that it's actually a fairly diverse collection of those within our economy that could, that could be disrupted. Now we can expect some of the delays to compound over the coming days. The Coast Mountain Bus Company has had a difficult time recruiting retra uh, retaining skilled maintenance workers. And uh, those workers aren't putting any overtime, so that means there could be a bit of a backlog for buses that need service. Not to mention the union says it's considering widening service disruptions if this strike lasts longer than just a few weeks. Mike? John Hernandez reporting live at Waterfront Station tonight. Thanks.